so this is sub program concept okay main program sub program now in which scenarios a sub program is used in mainframe in cobol so sub program is also a cobol program it's a cobol program in fact cobol program only but it is okay. called from another program to perform some tasks now in which scenarios sub programs are used imagine you have a cobol program where you have an input file it might have suppose 20 fields you are generating one output file from that and then in that output file you have few fields okay now evaluation of few fields okay. are easy simple but evaluation of few fields are very tough very lengthy okay evaluation of some output fields are very lengthy and very tough now if you code everything in the main program sometimes it becomes very messy to understand the main program flow that time what we do is for those complex calculations those complex calculations what we do we keep it in a separate program only suppose that cal evaluation process is only thousand lines long we keep it in a separate program and we call the program from the main program we pass the value from the main program and we call do the calculation in the sub program the output is again passed from the sub program to the main program and this is how it is evaluated this is one case next case is there are some generic processes which go on in a project for example there is a date evaluation process date format check process there is an input file where a date is coming now you need to check the date format as in the date should be in yyyy-mm-dd format okay now before processing the date you need to check whether the date is in correct format or not whether it is yyyy-mm-dd format or not or, and also you need to check, check each and every field like the year should be should not be should not be below 1900 and should not be above current year the month should be in the range of 0 1 to 12 and also january march may july august october december should be should not cross 31 remaining months should not cross 30 february should not cross 28 or 29 leap year concept is also there those also you need to check and in between hyphen should be there. so there are so many different different calculations now this process suppose is generic there are many uh, programs or many files where this kind of input field is coming and before processing them you are checking the date format in many of the programs okay now what you can do is in that in that case you can write a common sub program common program where the date process the date format check is going on and in each of the programs where the date format check is going on you just call you just can call the same sub program so in that case you can create a generic sub program okay oh this is how we can do. so these are some cases where sub program concept is used so i will tell you the and i will give you a basic example of a sub program sub program concept so this is a main okay. program okay now in the main program you have you can see there is a working storage variable a picture clause x of 10 procedure division i'm initializing this now i'm moving a very moving a value 2022 0831 to this this variable now my requirement is to now my requirement is to change this format to without hyphen format like 2022 it should be 2028 2022 uh, hyphen should not be there in the output oh. okay now this is very easy without even using sub program you can do it this is easy only but i'll show you how to do it in do it using sub program now after moving oh. this value to this variable i am displaying before sub pgm call i'm displaying this variable displaying this value then i'm calling a sub program okay i'm calling a sub program the name of the sub program is sub pgm2 using by reference now what is the meaning of using by reference i'll tell you a now oh. why should i call a sub program um, by passing a value because in this sub program, I am changing this yyyy-mm-dd format to yyyy-mm-dd format. I am removing the hyphen. 
So I have to pass the value right to the sub program. Then only it will take the input oh, and it will change it. That is why I have to pass it via this variable a. Now in this sub program, that calculation is going on, and finally, without hyphen format is passed from the sub program to the main program, and finally I'm displaying it here in the main program. So we'll see what is going on in the sub program. Here I'm calling this sub program with this variable. What is the value of this variable a? 2022 hyphen 30 hyphen 0 at hyphen 31. Now go to the sub program. So in this sub program, you will see I have first of all taken one working storage variable ws date, where I have three variables ws year, ws month, ws day, x of four, x of two, x of two, without hyphen. See, there is no hyphen. I have taken a date variable where year, month, and day are there. Now there is something called linkage section. Now what is a linkage section? Linkage section is a section which comes under data division, which is used to link two programs. Suppose you are passing data from one program to another program, that data is accepted in linkage section. And also, oh. suppose you are passing from passing data from JCL to COBOL program through PALM. In JCL through PALM, we can pass data from JCL to COBOL program. That variable also should be accepted in linkage section. That is why it's called linkage. It links two programs or a program and a JCL. So whatever data is passed from one program to sub program, that data is accepted here. Whatever data is passed from one JCL to a COBOL program via PALM parameter is accepted here. Now from the main parameter, main program, I passed A. Where is the length of A? X of 10. With the same length, okay. I have declared one variable LSB. Now LS stands for linkage section. You can give any name, does not matter. Now procedure division okay. using LSB. This is the only difference that you can find in uh, in case of this one linkage uh, sub program whenever you write a procedure division in sub program you have to write using the linkage section variable because sub program does not have anything extra to do what it does is whatever value it receives from another program it takes the variable and processes the program so we have to write okay procedure division using that variable. This is the difference. Now, sometimes you are asked in interviews, what is the difference between main program and sub program? You have to tell this reason also, this difference also. Now, this WS date variable that I took, I'm initializing that. There is no value currently. Now, using reference modification, so you know reference modification, <coughs> the data from main program I have passed through A to the sub program. What is the value of A? 2022 Same value, same value comes and is pasted in the LSB also. LSB also currently has 2022-0831 value. Okay. Now using reference modification, I am extracting only the year, month and day and I am putting into WS year, WS month, WS day. So LSB 1 is to 4. 1 is to 4 means first position 4 length from here to here. These four positions I am moving to WS here. The LSB 6 is to 2. What is the 6 six position? This 2 means this one. 6 is to 2 WS month. LSB 9 is to 2 from here to here. Move to WS okay. day. Then these three variables have first, first one has 2022, second one has 08, third one has 31. And all three, all three variables constitute WS date. Okay, so since WS date is a group variable, it has three sub elementary variables under it. So the combined value of these three sub elementary variables will be the value of WS date. So WS date will have a value 2022 Now that same WS date, I'm again moving to w LSB. LSB initially had a value 2022 08 31. Now since I'm moving without hyphen date to LSB, it is, it has replace the original value. Now LSB has without hyphen value. So when I change the value for LSB, same thing is reflected in A also. Okay. Now using go back, okay, then there is a display, then go back. Go back means the control is passed to the main program. So sub program is just a part of the main program. Okay. Now after calling the sub program, there okay. might be other lines to perform in the main program also, right? That is why after Sub program I, is done, the control should be back to the main program because after that main program might have other lines also to perform. 
Now, when LSB value is replaced with without hyphen format, it comes back to the main program. And when it comes back to the main program, the value for value of A also is impacted. It also has without hyphen format now. Then I'm displaying A again. Then you can see the difference before sub PGM call, it was with hyphen after sub PGM call, it was, it will be without hyphen. This is how sub programs are used. You can call, now sub program can be used for any purpose, okay? It can be so based on your project, you can have any code. So whenever you pass any data, you have to pass through a variable that operation will be done in the sub program then the output value will be passed to the main program again understood now okay. why is the value of a impacted when the value of lsb is impact changed this is the thing called this is done because of this thing called using by reference so using by reference is the mode of calling a sub program a program okay mode of calling using by reference okay. so this a which is there in the main program is called actual parameter and this lsb which is there in sub program is called formal parameter okay now whenever okay. you call a sub program with using by reference what happens is this actual parameter and this sub, uh, formal parameter they stay in the same memory location okay same memory location okay Suppose this is the value for A, okay? A length of A is 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 slots. This is actual parameter A. And what is the value? 2022 hyphen. How to change the format, do you know? Okay, um, so I will write underscore, okay, but think it is hyphen. I'm not sure the some settings is on. So, 0, 8, then 31. This is how the memory looks like, right? First slot 2 in the second okay. slot 0 will come. This is how the memory will, will look like. Now, there is some, uh, when I pass the same variable value to the sub program, the value for LSB also becomes the same. Yes. LSB also has 10 length. The value for LSB also becomes the same. Now, when after calculation in LSB, when I change it and make it this thing, so when the hyphens are removed from this from LSB, since I'm calling main program, uh, I'm calling this sub program with using by reference. What happens is system allocates only ten bytes. Okay for both of them they stay in the same memory location system does not allocate separate 10 bytes for a separate 10 bytes for lsb system allocates same memory location for both of them then what happens is whenever oh. i change something in lsb automatically it reflects in a also because they're staying in the same memory location if you and your friend stay in the same room then all the belong all the things in the room belong to both of you the fans the windows the doors everything right but if mm -hmm. you and your friends say in sep separate rooms, then your things are your things. His belongings will be his belongings. You cannot claim that your things are mine. Your window, your room light, your fans, these are mine. You cannot say that. But if both of you are sharing same room, everything belongs to both of you. Similarly, since I'm calling this sub program with using by reference, system will allocate same memory location for both of them, only 10 bytes. There, both of them will stay. Now, if whatever value I'm passing from A, from the uh, through a from main program to sub program the value of lsb will the, will be the same now in lsb in the sub program whatever i make whatever changes i make the same value will be reflected in a also automatically this is why using by reference is used okay there is another thing called using by content wow. using by value so there are two modes of calling using by reference using by content the concept is called using by value while writing you have to write using by content like this so the meaning of using by content is 
the memory location of A and WS, uh, A and LSB will be different. It will have 10 bytes separate, oh, it will have 10 bytes separate. So, uh, so whatever changes you make to LSB will not reflect A. So there is no point. Oh, okay. So in the sub-program, whatever changes you make when the control comes back from sub-program to the main program, the value of main program variable will still be the same. So we should use using by reference. And in real time, you will not see using by reference also. You will directly see using A. Like this is they'll write. Call sub PGM using yes. A. By reference, by content, they don't write. So the meaning of this okay. is using A means using by reference. Default value of this is using by reference. Okay. Got it? Okay. So this is the main program. So whenever you write main program, sub program, always so first of all, you need to compile the sub-program. Okay, so sub program is compiled, then you can compile the main program. So for the first time, okay, whenever you write the program for the first time, sub program also main program also, you can compile the sub program, then you can compile the main program. Okay. Now, while executing, you have to execute main program only. Sub program you cannot execute. You have to execute main program while executing. So submit it. Now go to spool and check. See before sub PGM call with hyphen. Inside inside this this display comes from sub sub program. So inside sub program hyphen is removed and this is in the main program after sub PGM call without hyphen. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. 